Homes with many levels of car garages and a complete water park in the background are things that aren't thought to be unusual for the world's billionaires. And also with good reason. There is a level of preference that those with wealth beyond what the common person can fathom can afford to incorporate into their realities. The personal bank accounts of these CEOs, corporate titans, and world leaders contain more zeros than the annual budgets of some nations. The world's top 1% of 1% have access to resources that the rest of us can only imagine. And some of these contain extraordinary residences with imported furniture, lavish facilities, and a totally unique way of life. We can certainly appreciate it from a distance even though we might not be able to afford it. So now we're going to look at the 10 most amazing mansions owned by the wealthiest CEOs on the planet. Number 10. Palazzo di Amore Owner, Jeff Green Estimated value, $129 million it seems sense that a real estate tycoon owns one of the most costly residences in the world. It is evident that this Mediterranean property was one of Jeff Green's well-considered purchases. Jeff Green amassed his money through successful real estate investments and timely acquisitions. Located in Beverly Hills, California, Palazzo di Amore is a 53,000 square foot estate with 12 bedrooms, 23 bathrooms, multiple swimming pools, a tennis court, a waterfall, and a movie theater. In typical billionaire style, the home also has room for 150 cars to park. But what really sets it apart is the party area, which has a DJ booth, rotating dance floor, and laser lighting, all of which promise a great time. Number 9. Xanadu 2.0 Owner, Bill Gates Estimated value, $131 million Bill Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft, formerly held the title of richest man in the world. It is therefore not surprising that his commitment to business and investment led to the building of his dream home. The imaginary mansion from Citizen Kane, Xanadu 2.0, is as near to a tech billionaire CEO's house as you can get. Bill Gates spent seven years and roughly $63 million developing and designing the spectacular mansion, which he purchased in 1988 for $2 million. The Xanadu 2.0 contains 24 bathrooms and a hall that can accommodate 200 people, along with high-tech amenities including digital art screens, underwater speakers in the heated outdoor swimming pool, and adjustable lighting and temperature. There is a 40-plus year old maple tree on the property as well. Number 8. Warner Estate Owner Jeff Bezos Estimated value $175 million this house, which was built in the 1930s by Jack Warner, a co-founder of the renowned Warner Brothers, has entertained some of the most remarkable people in history, including Audrey Hepburn and Albert Einstein. In 2020, the property was purchased by Jeff Bezos, current executive chairman of Amazon and previous CEO, founder, and co-founder of DreamWorks. This opulent home, which is valued at $175 million, features two guest houses, three greenhouses, and two ponds. The 1,200-square-meter house, which has lush gardens and offers the owner a great deal of seclusion, is truly appropriate for one of the world's wealthiest men and the 24th largest landowner in America. Number 7. Ellison Estate Owner, Larry Ellison Estimated value, $200 million Larry Ellison, co-founder and former CEO of Oracle Corporation, is the proud owner of a stunning estate with Japanese design inspiration that spans 23 acres and includes 10 individual properties due to its enormous size. Additionally, the Woodside California estate has a tea house, a sauna, a koi pond, and a man-made lake, you know, the typical billionaire layout. The grounds of the estate are lush and dotted with pricey trees, including cherry blossoms, maples, oaks, and redwoods. Number 6. Flat A, One Hyde Park Penthouse Owner, Renat Leondovich Ekmatov Estimated value, $221 million The lavish penthouse known as Flat A and owned by Renat Leondovich Ekmatov is located at One Hyde Park, one of the priciest apartment complexes in the world, which is located in London. One of the wealthiest men in Ukraine, the millionaire creator of system capital management is a Ukrainian businessman. He paid $221 million for Flat A in 2011, and it is a three-story, 25,000-square-foot property with five bedrooms, a wine cellar, and other amenities. 
Other features of the One Hyde Park skyscraper include a movie theater, bulletproof glass, and a secret tunnel leading to the nearby Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Talk about a luxurious lifestyle. Number 5. Noor Palace, 1819 Kensington Palace Gardens. Owner, Lakshmi Mittal. Estimated value, $222 million. Lakshmi Nuwas Mittal has earned the moniker the Steel King of the World thanks to the unparalleled success of his commercial ventures, particularly Arcelor Mittal, the biggest steel producer in the world. He also owns the Noor Palace, which is located between 18 and 19 Kensington Palace Gardens. Following substantial restoration work by renowned art collector and real estate investor, Professor Sir Nasser David Khalili, a board member of Goldman Sachs, purchased the house. It took five years to finish the $90 million restoration project, but the wait was undoubtedly worthwhile. The huge palace, which occupies 55,000 square feet of land, is a marble paradise constructed from 3,000 square meters of the same marble used to construct the Taj Mahal. With more than 20 parking spaces in the basement, it has indoor swimming pools, a hairdresser, and a reception area that can accommodate up to 1,000 visitors. Number 4. 220 Central Park South Penthouse. Owner, Ken Griffin. Estimated value, $240 million. What are your first choices if you are traveling and need a place to stay while visiting a city? Airbnb? Hotel? A companion? Well, the solution is to purchase a nearly $240 million penthouse if you are a billionaire like Citadel LLC CEO Ken Griffin. The 24,000 square foot condo known as the Penthouse at 220 Central Park South was purchased by the multi-billionaire hedge fund manager as a somewhere to stay when he's in town. The Penthouse occupies three levels from 50 to 53 and comes with all of the tower's amenities, including a private dining room, a fitness center, a spa, a library, a basketball court, and parking. It is amazing how much a billionaire will spend on real estate for a home that isn't his permanent abode. Number 3. 4 Fairfield Pond Owner, Ira Renert. Estimated value, $248 million. The Renko Group's founder, Ira Renert, began building his dream home, a mansion, in Sagaponak, New York, in the late 1990s. And he was successful in constructing a home that is currently among the most costly in the world, with a value estimated at $248.5 million. The 63-acre estate has a playhouse with a basketball court inside, two pool cottages, and a Renaissance-style Italian mansion with 62,000 square feet of living area. The property has three swimming pools, a 164-seat theater, a 91-foot dining room, and a garage with storage for up to 100 vehicles. Renner has a private helicopter and helipad on his property, like the majority of millionaires. Number 2. Villa Leopolda Owner, Mikhail Prokhorov Estimated value, $750 million Rich Russian Mikhail Prokhorov, the famous Villa Leopolda in France is owned by Russian-Israel billionaire Mikhail Dmitriev Prokhorov, a former owner of the Brooklyn Nets and the creator of Onexim Group. The magnificent estate, which has 50 acres of land and 8 acres of usable area, and is the third largest house in the world, is tucked away on the lagoons of the French Riviera. The Villa Leopolda is a gorgeous and amazing mansion with a history of owners ranging from royalty to business moguls like the owner of Fiat and Ferrari. The house was sold to Mikhail Prokhorov by Lily Safra, the late Edmund Safra's wife, in 2008 for $750 million. The house has vintage artwork and furniture, staying true to its French roots. It contains 19 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, a helipad, a sports court, a bowling alley, various dining rooms, a water fountain, and marble sculptures. The most recognizable aspect of Villa Leopolda is its frequent appearance in popular culture as the background for famous movies, including the 1984 drama Red Shoes with Cary Grant and Grace Kelly, and the To Catch a Thief with Grace Kelly. Number 1. The Antilia Owner, Makesh Ambani. Estimated value, $2.6 billion. The wealthiest individual in India and the owner of the most expensive house in the world is Mukesh Ambani, managing director and the largest shareholder of Fortune Global 500 business, Reliance Industries Limited. The Antilia, a remarkable home that has been dubbed the $2 billion home and has skyrocketed in popularity in the real estate sector, represents a significant improvement over the previous residents. 
The Antilia is a 27-story, 400,000 square foot residential skyscraper. It contains nine elevators, a spa, a temple, a two-story entertainment center, a ballroom, and a 50-seat theater. It also has a multi-story garage with 168 parking spaces. This magnificent work of architecture and design, which is home to India's wealthiest family, cost roughly $1 billion to construct. The building immediately earned the moniker first billion dollar home in the world, but its present price raises the bar. The Antilia was originally valued at $2.2 billion in 2020, but as of current now, it is expected to cost roughly $2.6 billion. A lot of zeros. There you have it then, the lavish residences of the wealthiest CEOs. Whose house did you prefer? Comment below with your thoughts and let us know. Thank you.